Why do you think it's so frowned upon in skating to give yourself props, especially when you're first starting off? And like, you might be a little kid, you might be 12 years old, you land a kickflip at the skate park on the hip or something like that. And, and you're hyped because it just took you so long and so many days and you can't even show your own excitement. Well, you, you can, but then you'll be looked at as whatever, you know? So why do you think that is? I think because, I don't know. It's a weird thing though, right? Like, I think, okay, uh, the short answer is like, have you seen what happens to those people get to the, they get celebrated their whole lives? Like they turn into assholes and they turn into burn, burnouts and they start skating for other people's approval. You know, yeah. at least for me, like, you need to be taken down a couple notches just for a while, you know, like learn to just like not sweat it. Cause it's a performance thing too, though. Doesn't it look cooler when like, like we all get hyped if we see some kid do something for the first time, you know, like I like those videos too, but like encouraging someone to like self cheer is like encouraging them to sort of like skate for other people's approval, you know? And that's just like one, that's just like whack to be around someone like that. And two, it's probably whack for them to, because the moment people stop approving, they're, they're going to have to like rethink why they skate and what they're getting out of it. And, you know, mm -hmm. that has happened to friends of mine. It happened to me to some extent. Like, I think it's just like, um, it's just like being a part of a family, like the runt, you know, gets abused a little bit and they learn to take care of themselves. And it's, it's about the ego, right? Like the less they, you know, the less you learn to express your enthusiasm about this thing that you love doing uh, or the, the way that you got to learn how to be like cool about it. You know, it's about being cool. Yeah, I think abso that's absolutely. I mean, yeah, you definitely learn to not express your enthusiasm. I never thought about it that way. Like even, even looking at people, like if you eye them, when you, when you land a trick, that's like yeah, a, no, yeah. a no, no, you can't oh. even look at the other human being in the eyes or else. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, that's how I fucking, I discovered that the hard way bro like i i was skating in uh wallenberg this like spot in san francisco legendary skate spot in like 94 and fucking you know all of my heroes were there it was like josh kalis maurice key ben sanchez mike carroll fucking scott johnson aaron mays is filming like you know jb gillette who had just come out from leon who like the week before we'd skate with him he was just like fresh faced kid like cool with us and all of a sudden he's way too cool because he's a thousand times better and he's with the cool guys now you know and like i don't know i landed something probably a back tail and i like looked around to see because fucking i'm surrounded by my heroes like i want to i want to stare at these people if i weren't skating with them i'd just be like taking down everything that they were doing and they catch me looking at them and then i'm the fucking butt of the joke for the next 20 minutes because they're talking about me beaming <laughs> <laughs> you know and uh yeah it's, that's just the way that it goes and i'm kind of like I kind of into it like I'm someone who's super interested in like visuality and looking and shit because like as an art historian and someone who spends a lot of time looking at and thinking about uh you know objects but like with skateboarding it's like you got to be cool you know mm -hmm. and I know that cool is subjective I know that there's no universal definition of cool but my definition of cool and I think a lot of skaters definition of cool has to do with like literally what it means it's just like removed a little bit acting mm -hmm. like you don't care 